Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever highlights video for the F3 Season 6. We're going to join at the Belgian Grand Prix, so we've missed quite a bit of the season, but now we are now following it extremely closely. I'm Matthew Gallagher, I also commentate on the F1 videos, and joining me in the commentary box for the first time is Rims. Yeah, hello guys, uh, I'm Rims, we're going to commentate on the Belgian Grand Prix this time. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be brilliant, I can't wait. It's going to be interesting to see how these drivers cope with the very tricky spa Francochamps circuit. A, a, a favourite for many, but uh, the Season 5 podium anyway. We had iProX Callum taking the victory from ACR Jordan, who is now in F1, and Jess the Bear, who I don't think is actually racing in the leagues anymore. And the Season 5 pole position went to iProX Callum as well, so he took the pole and the victory. Let's have a look what happens this season. Okay, so here we go for the qualifying comparison for F3, the Belgian Grand Prix. Here we go. It's a comparison between Trisha Stont and Pelos GT, the two Force India drivers. Now starting the lap here at Spa, you want to get the best possible run out of Turn 1 because there's a massive straight followed by El Rouge uh, through this first sector. So getting the top speed and the good exit off this first corner is absolutely crucial. Who's going to use up all their curves here? Uh, looks like most of them do. They're saving a little bit for the run out of El Rouge, you've got to hit this nicely, get a good exit, then open the DRS as soon as it's available to you, and they both use their curves on the run up to the first sector split here, and um, let's see who's got the top speed advantage, they both have the same top speed, and it looks like Pelos GT is purple, still on everyone, but he's down on his previous best, whereas Trisha Ston is green on his previous lap, so it's looking pretty even at this stage, now coming into this hairpin now, you want to break late, and then carry a lot of speed in, Go into first gear. They both hit it fairly nicely. Now coming up to this left-hander that is should that is unnamed. Hit, hit the apex nicely. Then uh, Trisha Stont used a little bit more curbing on the exit there, but coming up to Puhon, the double left-hander, who's going to hit it nicely. Looks like Trisha Stont hit it nicely. Just make sure that you don't hit that curbing on the right there. It can send you flying. But now the flowing part of the end of the second sector here, and it looks like Peloz is just ahead, just slightly over his teammate, but it's very close at this stage. You just want to make sure that you get a clean lap in here at the end of the session. Let's see who is up at this stage coming into the start of the third sector. It looks like they're both purple, so they're both looking good for maybe a front row finish for both of them in this qualifying session. But anyway, coming up to the bus stop now, you want to make sure that you get the top speed, you make sure... And you can hit the apex nicely here and then run into the bus stop and then be really brave under brakes. You can make up so much time here just by being great, brave, brave under brakes and hitting the apex nicely. Looks like Pelos hit it a bit nice and then Trisha Stont there. But coming through the final corner, Trisha Stont is a little bit behind his teammate there. He missed the apex, but I think Pelos will get pole in this race. He does only adjust like less than a tenth or a hundredth of a, or a second over his teammate Trisha Stont. So that is the qualifying comparison for Belgium. I'll hand over to our main commentators, Rimsey and ex Matty G. Thank you very much, TMAT Mardik, for that qualifying comparison. We now have the grid order in front of us. So Pelos GT took pole position with a 1 minute 45.9, around a tenth and a half quicker than his teammate, Trincia Stocks. So Force India locking out the front row there. Leo bought in third place in this first Toro Rosso. Next, it's Tommy Sauber, four tenths back. Togamiz on the third row in the Ferrari, almost half a second back next to Wookie Pete, who was half a second behind Togamiz, so almost a second back from Pelos GT. Seventh place, John B19 on the prime tyre though, with XO Powerpuff XO in the Lotus Renault in eighth. Rims in ninth place next to Craggles D in tenth, rounding up the top ten. Def to Trout in eleventh in the McLaren Mercedes, 4.1 seconds back with Elite Joker, 6.9 seconds back in twelfth. So it looks like those two drivers struggled immensely in the qualifying. And 13th and 14th, Dude Where's My Jev and DC Magic did not set a time, but will be racing. Let's find out what happened in the Belgian GP this season. It's race time, it's F3, it's the Spa Grand Prix, and it's a favourite of many drivers, as I said in the introduction, and 
This looks like it's going to be a very interesting race with many drivers starting on the prime tyre. We're on board with John B19 in seventh place. We had a very interesting qualifying getting off quite high up the grid on the primes. And we've now got five lights and we're waiting for them to go out. And they go out now. And this powerful finish straight into Rich Fuel Mixture trying to at least maintain position on the prime tyre. Getting very close to John B there who's in seventh place. Breaking later than Wookie Pete may have given a bit of a nudge on his screen. But he's taken a very wide line and actually got hit by Dude Where's My Jev I think that is. But he's down into tenth place so a disappointing start for him now Pelos GT who has lost the lead to Leo Bot coming towards Eau Rouge yes they are and uh, we got two Force India drivers in second and third now uh, Leo taking the lead into first corner I think and we got Tommy uh, just behind them it's it's starting to be a little bit of a gap yeah, it does actually seem quite like the, the top three are getting away already and it's only like turn three and it looks like a bit of contact between Pelos GT and Leo Bot and Trinity Stock goes around the back a pair of them and no, he's straight into the wall. He was taking the lead, he was making complete sense and just going around the outside of them and then the, someone rejoins the track and sticks him straight into the wall. We might hopefully get a replay of that but a very, very crucial instant for Trinity Stock who has lost his front wing on lap one. That is not a good start for him. And uh, obviously, after good qualifying in second, he has now been dropped all the way to the back of the field. And uh, Pelos GT has retaken the lead here from Leo. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's Tommy's now going up the inside of Leo Bot after, um, what is that? I can't remember the corner now. What's it called? Poo on, that's it. And uh, Leo Bot now takes the, the, uh, the position back up into second place again on the option tyre. So this is crucial for Leo Bot if he wants to be challenging for the lead. As John B19 in, on the prime tyres is in seventh place still. So he's managed to maintain that grid position as he runs quite wide there, very close to the gravel. And it looks like now Powerpuff going up the inside. I don't think John B actually realised that he was coming up the inside. And now he's lost the place and part of his front wing as well that is not a good uh, good start I, d I didn't even see him coming it's all of a sudden he was there and he's on his inside and he was I don't know maybe pushed out to the wall that's a little I bit mean, hard to tell I, I didn't see an arrow or anything so John B was taken completely by surprise by Powerpuff's very good move there he took advantage of John B running a little bit wide and sort of flirting with the gravel and he's lost the position and unfortunately John B's gonna have to deal with understeer now for the rest of the well until his pit stop which is gonna be I don't know, lap six or so, I think the prime tires will be looking to pit as DC Magic going up the inside now of, is that Elite Joker? It is indeed, but Elite Joker's got on the power earlier, coming towards Eau Rouge now. DC Magic using all of his curves and getting past Elite Joker onto Eau Rouge, and there's not any DRS yet, so Joker cannot or will not, I do not think, get back that place on this lap, especially as we're now on board with Trenches Stock in the pits. Yes, he uh, will have to change his front front wing obviously and we got race control incident involving Leo Bot in the Toro Rosso and Pelos GT is under investigation for unfair driving I guess that's uh, when Leo got pushed off the track yeah it's looked like well from um, was it Pelos GT's um, sort of point of view it didn't actually look like he touched him but obviously lag bubbles and things like that you have to take uh, sort of in consideration to that as we're on board with Leo Bot round the outside he's broken a little bit later than Pelos and Pelos on his screen has just knocked him straight off the track yes he so, has um, yeah very interesting instant there and it'll be interesting to see what the stewards say because I don't think there was any um, giving back of places was there no I don't think it was and uh, I mean uh, we have a stewards in RL and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what they have to say about this incident and we got yes, Togo Maze on the inside of Rookie Peak in the uh, in the Ferrari here, going, he's managing work. to get that move stick, yes he, ha he does. Yeah, great move there by Togamis, in te up to 10th place in the Ferrari. He's on the option tyres though, so there's many prime tyres and uh, prime tyre runners, sorry, in front of him. As it's Tommy's runs very wide indeed, almost doing what John B did at the lap earlier. But um, yeah, up into third place still, at Tommy's. I'm not too sure where he started. I think it was quite near the front, as he's obviously on the option tyres. So he's going to have to make the most of this first part of the race, where the prime tyre runners are going to be a lot slower than the options. But um, he looks like he's c catching the about quite a bit. Yeah, I think these two are going to have a massive fight towards the end of the race because, I mean, these two drivers are very similar in driving style and in pace, so uh, this is going to be interesting. And we now have got a replay of the first lap, first corner even, on board with Pelos GTs. We didn't get a view of this. Leo Bot is in third place at the moment, so and he's gone straight up the inside of both of them. What a beautiful move there by Leo Bot. Very impressive indeed. He's taken advantage of Pelos just breaking a little bit earlier, and he's just sneaked up the inside beautifully. We might get a better view from Tommy's, actually. Oh, no, he's broken quite late, so we don't see Leo Bot do, uh, making the move, but brilliant move there. So we that can was see the two Force India drivers making a little bit of contact 
that caused Trizestar on one position or two. Yeah, it was very interesting indeed to see the two Force India drivers come very close and actually make contact out of Turn 1. But that was purely because of Leobot's very opportunistic move into Turn 1, but it was clean, so he could, he didn't have to take uh, sort of responsibility for the two Force India drivers crashing into each other. As we're now on board with DC Magic in 5th place on the Prime Tire, so he's having a brilliant start to his race. And um, we've now got another replay of Trinity Stock going straight into the wall. I'm not too sure who made contact with him there. Uh, do you know, uh, Ritz? Uh, no, I, I couldn't tell, but... Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, that was Leo. Oh, that is awful. So Leo bot, uh, but is he under investigation for a very sort of dangerous way of rejoining the track? I don't know yet. Uh, we'll have to see if the stewards decide to uh, investigate this. But um, in my opinion, it should be a steward case. But yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But um, we're now on board with Power Puff. Power Puff. Power Puff in sixth place. Right behind DC Magic, also on the prime tire. I'm not too sure there are many people on the options, to be honest. So um, these guys are going to be looking to pit reasonably early. It's going to be interesting to see. Oh, here we go. We've got an incident involving Trincia Stock 1 and Leo Bot. He's under investigation for dangerous driving, so I'm assuming that is when Leo Bot uh, joined the, rejoined the track. Yes, so, it yeah, uh, appears to me to like it is that incident. So uh, it's good to see that the stewards uh, are taking a look in this. Yeah, I think it had to be, considering Trinity Stock went into the wall and lost his front wing. But anyway, as I was saying with the prime runners, it looks like they're going to be, yeah, I think about lap five or six. It's going to be interesting to see who pits the earliest to try and get the undercut on the fresh option tyres. And um, But then he, they will struggle towards the end of the race, sort of lap 20 to 22. It's going to be very difficult for those option runners. But anyway, Pelos GT sets the fastest up of 151 flat. Oh, nearly two seconds. Well, actually, it is two seconds quicker than Power Puff, as we're now on board with Tommy's. And he's following Leo Bot now, he's going to have DRS this time. And it looks like it's going to be an easy move here. A little bit of lag though, from uh, from Leo. And, oh, Tommy's going wide. Leo, wow, taking that position back. That's great driving. Yeah, good driving from Leo Bot. Looks like he's actually on the uh, pad looking at his sort of steering movement. So um, I respect people that use the pad because I use it, use it myself. So... Good driving from Leo Bot there. He has to keep those positions, especially being on the option tyre, as we're now on board with John B19 in the Toro Rosso, running very wide indeed out of this hairpin, and Craggles D taking advantage of that and going straight up the inside, and John B now down to ninth place after... Actually, no, he did have that instant um, going into the wall on lap one, so he's not doing too badly considering he's lost his front left end plate. No, he's certainly not. I think it's a good drive from him. Um, it's uh, fairly close. The uh, field hasn't spread out uh, too much yet, so he's still got a chance to... Uh, Take a few positions. Yeah, definitely. As Power Puff now coming towards the middle sector split, running very wide indeed, just like John B did earlier, uh, towards the gravel. And um, he's got a 2.1 second gap uh, behind Rims in fourth place. And DC Magic just within DRS range. So it's be interesting to see if DC can get um, DRS after Eau Rouge on the next lap. But um, as I said, a lot of these prime tires, uh, prime tires, prime runners will be looking to pit around this time so we'll have to keep an eye out on that as uh, we're running quite wide into the bus stop chicane and now coming over the line is he going to set a fast lap we won't know as we're now back on board with John B. Yes we are and is he going into the pits this time? It looks like he is. Yes he's going into the pits so he's uh, looking for the undercut on the uh, guys ahead. Yeah, it's a good idea from John B because he, you know, he's 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 had a bit of front wing damage, so he's thought, right, well, let's get rid of this front wing, let's get some new option tyres on. Although he will lose another two, three seconds changing his front wing, he'll be able to optimise, you know, his new new speed on the option tyres compared to the older sort of primes and older options ahead. Yes, and he will rejoin with some fresh air. It looks like so uh, he's uh, going to be able to run run his uh, rich fuel mixture now. Uh, and on board with Togemis in the Ferrari cockpit cam. That's pretty impressive to drive with that. Yeah, definitely. Very impressive. I respect all drivers that are racing cockpit cam. I personally don't because it makes me feel sick. But um, yeah, very good in ninth place. So he's keeping the pace up. Fastest lap of 52.5. A little bit off the leaders, especially being on the option tyres. But he's still within the points, which I'm sure he'll be happy about as he's now trying to catch his teammate, Craggles D, ahead of him in eighth place. Coming through the corner that has no name. Very strange indeed, but that's what it's famous for. As uh, Renahal and Borwe Powerpuff in fifth place, coming through Puon. And um, following Rims, who he actually seems to have caught up a little bit, considering he was about 2.1 seconds back a minute ago. Yeah. 
And uh, it looks like uh, he's struggling. Yeah, he's he's lost the back end. And is Powerpuff going to be able to go through? No, they're side by side. No, he's not. Rims has, has the defensive line. And will, will we have... He might run Rich Mix, though. And uh, Powerpuff is on the prime tires, so... But look at this. This looks like an easy move. He's going around the outside, though. Coming towards this very fast left-hander. Are they going to make contact? No, Rims looks like he's got out of it a little bit. But then Powerpuff has dipped his wheel into the grass, which is lost in grip. And there's DC Magic now coming up behind the both of them. And there's been contact. DC Magic straight into the side of Rims. This is like a deja vu from Jensen Button and Vettel. If you guys remember that, coming towards the bus stop uh, chicane in real life. So DC, he's still going. And I'm not too sure what's happened to Rims, who's down in ninth place. And... Uh, did he have any uh, damage, um, do you know? I, d I don't really know. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. Maybe we'll find out later. Yeah, hopefully we'll see a replay of that. But that was almost like watching the real life events. Yeah. Um, but yeah, very interesting. I'm not too sure if Rims came across DC Magic or if DC just sort of turned a little bit too early. I'm not too sure. It'd be good to see a replay as um, we're now on board with It's Tommy's in the Sauber. The Sauber is known for having very quick straight line speed, so it, it does definitely sort of suit the Spa layout of a lot of it is straight and full throttle. So he's going to hopefully, well, he's hoping that he's going to get through Leo Bot any t uh, sometime soon, as I think, is Leo on the options as well? I think yeah, he I is. Yeah, I think he is. I think he yeah. is. And we've got, who have we got in the lead at the moment? I think it's Plio's. Ple yeah, Pelos GT. GT yeah. yeah. So he's actually bridged quite a bit of a gap to second place, which is crucial because he's nowhere near DRS. So if he can maintain his pace out in front, then he'll be looking very good for the victory. As it's Tommy's is getting very close indeed to Leobot coming towards the middle sector. And we're now on board with Leobot coming up to the bust of chicane. And he's uh, being closely followed by I Tommy's, And he's lost the back end. And will he lose the position? Yes, he does. Tommy just flying past there. Easy overtake. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Leobot reacts to that because it's Tommy's obviously up into second place, but he's going to have DRS for the next straight. So it looks like is, is Tommy's going to get a good exit out of the turn one. It looks like he did get a reasonable exit, so he might be able to keep second place. As we now got a replay of DC Magic and Rims. It does look like Rims completely cut him off of space. Maybe he just didn't even know he was there coming towards the braking zone. But yeah, he's completely just not seen DC Magic at all. And Rims flying across the bus stop chicane. And uh, Powerpuff came completely out of shape himself. And uh, probably quite uh, taken in by the whole flying Toro Rosso. <laughs> yes, it's probably. And uh, Leo following closely on Tommy. Uh, he will have DRS this time around as he is very close he's used up almost all of his curse so uh, it looks like this is going to be a fairly easy overtake for, for Leo yeah well, he's got a little bit more curse I'm surprised he hasn't used it yet because uh, he's going to be topping out anytime soon and he's still not using his curse so he's hoping he's going to get past Tom he's into the braking zone is he going to break a little bit later than he is it's quite late but he's oh he's just about managed to hit the apex beautiful move from Leo back up into second place but as these two are fighting Pelos GT is just extending his lead out front as Trinity Stock sets the fastest lap so we have instant involving Leo Bot and Pelos GT no further action so that was the f I'm guessing that's after the long straight when on lap one when they had the in, uh, the contact yeah I think that's uh, when uh... Leo, Pelos GT pushed out Leo Bot, and uh, we're, we've still uh, got to see uh, if Leo will get a penalty for rejoining the track the way he did, but yeah. Yeah, I think that one was more of a stonewall penalty, in my opinion, anyway. Um, but we've now back on board with DC Magic and the Williams in seventh place. He is hounding Togamis, the Ferrari, in front of him, and uh, he's got, still got three laps of fuel, so he's just sitting behind him, just not, you know, not sort of pushing the tyres too much but I am quite surprised that he hasn't pitted yet as it's lap 8 and the options will easily go to the end now so it will be interesting to see if he if he dives into the pits this time round because he doesn't look like he's making any sort of ground actually now on Togamiz and just suffering in the dirty air and um, Rims is actually in 8th place now, 6.5 seconds behind DC Yeah that's uh, probably because of the contact and uh, he's uh, dropped from 4th to what 9th and Leo losing the back end once, once again. Yeah. 
So Leo's done that again out of the bus stop you can see. He's completely struggling in the traction zones and he's lost the position again. But will he get it again with the DRS? That'll be interesting to see as DC gets very close to the pit wall there following Powerpuff into the pits. They're both going onto the option tyres and uh, we've got a little bit of a split screen here going on which is quite nice to see as Powerpuff comes into his pit box now. DC going further down the pits to his Williams boys. Um, I'm not expecting two different other pit stops because neither of them had to have repairs and Powerpuff still comes out ahead of DC. Yes he does and uh, it's going to be interesting to see. They've both got the same tyres on so uh, and their, their pace is fairly similar so uh, if uh, DC is going to uh, be able to overtake here, it's got to be with the help of DRS. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be close to get D close enough to get DRS just yet. Let's see. No, he's not. And uh, you can just see, like, all of the guys have their gearboxes all the way to the right, I'm pretty sure, because he's still not even hitting top speed uh, after using all of his curves and rich fuel mixture. But now he is definitely trying to push on, even on the colder options, which is quite risky for a lot of drivers. A lot of drivers tend to sort of stick it in standard just to, just to sort of wait for the tyres to warm up and then push. Yeah, that's uh, the usual thing. That's at least what I do. I don't want to waste any rich fuel mixture to uh, warm up those tyres. Yeah, definitely not, because then it, the rears could spin up and then you could lose the back end and actually lose time. And now, instant involving Trincia Stock and Leobot, 20 second penalty for the Toro Rosso driver, I'm assuming. Uh, so that is going to impact on his race hugely as he's in second place. So he has got back past Tommy's after that second uh, mistake into the bus or out of the bus stop chicane. So Tommy's looks like he's got a certain second place, if I'm not mistaken, and it doesn't look like there's anyone who can challenge him. No, it doesn't look like that. I think uh, Leo and Tommy has got a fair gap to uh, Craggles now. Um, so I don't think he's going to uh, be able to make it, but it's still a lot of laps to go, so uh, it's going to be interesting. It's John B now looking up the inside a tiny bit into uh, next to rims, and John B locking up both of his front tyres there, getting a little bit happy on the brakes and a little bit happy out of the bus stop chicane as well. So uh, John B not actually that far off the leader's pace. I'm pretty sure um, Palos GT just set a 50.6, so... Not far off at all, so John B trying to salvage some points after that uh, incident on lap one and up to, into seventh place again. So I think he'll be happy with this considering he's had a, a bit of bad luck going through this race. Yeah, and we know John B already has done his pit stop and Rims will have to do his pit stop, so uh, he's looking good. Uh, yeah, it's another place for John B, but doesn't he look like he's going to wait until Rims pits as he's going past. And Rims has got DRS as well, that looked like. So John B going up the inside, breaking very early indeed and not trying to take Rims. So that was very sensible driving from John B. Not very aggressive. A lot of drivers would have just stuck out the inside and made Rims or run Rims out of road. But John B, one of the drivers who are who is less aggressive, let's put it that way, and uh, just t wants to stay on the track. And Trincia doesn't want to stay on the track and loses his wing for a second time and loses connection as well so not not great to see to be honest because you know just people have things happen to them in the race but they do carry on to the end so it's disappointing to see Trincia rage quit yeah but that would have to be his uh, second pit stop of the race so already on lap 10 so he's I don't really think he had any chance of getting any points but it's uh, still you can pick up a disconnect or a crash later yeah, on in the race there's only 11 people in this race so if he just stayed around just just sort of sitting around just going around the you know the, the track and just keeping it on the track and not destroying your car you may well get lucky like fizzy fan um in the f1 league he he was about a lap down maybe a lap and a half down but he carried on and i can't remember which race it was but he just carried on and finished and that's what sort of gains you respect in these leagues and even if you have a bad race you don't leave the, the grand prix you know the f1 the real f1 drivers don't do that you know lewis hamilton although in i think it was was it uh hockenheim a few years back or was it um uh, yeah, and the McLaren, when he was said, oh, I think we, oh, we should park it, guys. You know, that's not the spirit. So it's disappointing to see. As Togham is in the pits for his fresh prime tyres, pitting quite early, actually, from the options. Yeah, he, he does. I would have pushed the options a little bit further. But uh, it's in interesting to see his strategy. He's coming out in 10th position, so uh, he's uh, all the way to the back. Yeah, as Togham is now with DRS. Down the long straight, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Tommy's up into second place, doesn't even need to fight Leobot as he's got a 20 second penalty. Leobot going around the outside again, this is like deja vu from a few laps ago. And Leobot takes the position back again. But, um, you know, this is just impacting Tommy's race. If he wants to, you know, potentially go after Pelos GT, Leobot is holding him up a treat considering he's got that penalty. So, 
yeah, and as you can see on the minimap, there is no one in sight to challenge uh, Tommy. It's going to be interesting, actually, to see when, if Leobot can still be on the podium despite having a 20-second penalty. Yeah, that will be uh, truly awesome if he managed to do that, uh, as 20 seconds is a huge margin. Um, but with the pace he has at the moment, that's definitely possible. Definitely. I think, you know, there's a huge gap and it's only going to get bigger on the option tyres, especially with those three who seem like they're in a league of their own for their for pace, at least. As uh, Powerpuff now following, well, not really following, but John B's down the road just ahead of him. Um, and I'm not, I think he might be catching him as John B's getting held up by someone quite dramatically. I'm not too sure who that is. Do you know, Rims? Yeah, I, I'm really not sure. Um... It was a little bit hard to see. It was a little bit too far. And Pella's GT looks like he's going into the pits. Let's see if he... Uh, yes, he does go into the pits. And he is... Ooh, scratching the wall a little bit. Ah, so Pella's GT pitting for option tyres. Uh, and Leobot hasn't pitted. And neither has Tommy's. They're all on option tyres. So um, that's why they've got such a big margin. So I was getting a little bit excited with myself. I thought they'd already pitted. So um, has, has Leobot already pitted? Um, I'm not too sure about that. I don't think so. I think he's no, maybe he's... pitting the next lap. Okay, so he's taken the lead anyway. So Palace GT in third place onto the prime tyres. Didn't push the options either. Um, you can see on the indicators he's coming in, they weren't, you know, ridiculously orange. As now Tommy's is trying to take the provisional lead as Powerpuff sets the fastest lap. And um, But anyway, Tommy's getting into first place. Is he going to allow Leobot to go around the outside of him once again? Is he? No way! Is he going to actually get round the outside? Now nah, he's going to go round the outside of Leo. Yes, he is. Brilliant driving from the pair of them. And Tommy's finally takes Leo Bot. But now Leo Bot's looking up the inside into the hairpin. And he's now regained the lead. These guys are side by side going towards the corner with no name. And Leo Bot takes the position back again. These two are having a brilliant battle here. Yeah, neither of the drivers want to give up the position. Uh, but obviously, Leo don't know yet that he has the penalty. He will uh, know after the race. So he's going to have a, a little bit of a shock uh, when he comes in uh, yeah. after the final lap. I think the team have decided not to tell him until the end of the race. So um, it's probably good considering Leo's concentration will probably go out of the window if he was told he's got a 20 second penalty. But, you know, it's to be expected if you're going to not, you know, rejoin the track so dangerously and cause someone to go into the wall who could have potentially won the race. But uh, we're now on board with Togamiz in the Ferrari on the prime tyre. And it looks like his curse is gone. His Kurs on the right side there. You can see his car. Oh yeah, it looks like his Kurs has been disabled. So that's not good. Not good. Not good at all. As you can see on the mini map, there's quite a few cars just down the road from him. So he would have wanted to be pushing on and maybe getting a few more points than one. But uh, Leobot now coming into the pit. So I I was right in thinking they were all on option tires and hadn't pitted. So uh, they both of them are coming into the pits now. It's going to be interesting to see where Pelos GT is compared to all of those and it looks like Pelos GT has actually already okay, overtaken the, and retaken the lead so it looks like these guys are nowhere near first any, at the moment anyway going on to the prime tyres and Leo's getting hold in, held in the pits he he what from what I remember he went into the pits first and exit in second so that's very interesting it's elite joker in the Williams going uh, between the pair of them I think he's yet to pit but still that's going to be interesting for that battle at least because uh, now there is a car between Tommy's and Leobot as DC Magic coming up over Rouge now in fast fuel mix. He is pushing very hard, looks like he's corner cutting that corner quite a bit but anyway it is a mistake I'm sure as Elite Joker now overtaking Tommy's up into second place but I am pretty sure if I'm not mistaken Rims that he has got to pit again. Yeah he might um, he might push his tyres very far in this option stint but um... I mean, when Tommy is getting the uh, temperature up in his tires, I don't think uh, Joker is going to be um, a hard fight for him. Yeah, well, it's going to still impact on. Oh, he's lost the back end. Now he's got grass in his tires, so he's going to run a bit wide, is he? Yeah, he's lost quite a bit of speed. And that is interesting. Well, that is going to impact on his race a lot because Leobot is now probably going to be within DRS for the next straight um, on the next lap. Sorry, so Power Puff. We're on board with now the Lotus Renault driver in fifth place. Pelos GT sets the fastest lap of a 149.4. Powerpuff three tenths back on a 49.7. So he's pushing on now behind Leo Bot. So he is now challenging to get onto the podium. So I was wrong in thinking there was no one near to challenge because these guys hadn't pitted. Yeah. Now Powerpuff, is yeah. he going to get DRS? I'm pretty sure he is. And uh, if he gets DRS, I don't think Leo has DRS. So this should be 
an easy overtake. No, Leo does not have DRS. Changing line to the defensive line, but doesn't really matter, it looks like. No, he's lost the position. Yeah, he's lost the position, well, purely because he had <laughs> didn't have the straight line speed that Powerpuff had. So Powerpuff's now up into a net third place. We're now on board with Leobot, who is just behind him. And uh, it looks like, oh, he's got a three second gap to DC Magic back in sixth. So uh, he hasn't got any trouble there. He runs very wide indeed, flirting with the gravel. He might have some sort of attraction to the gravel. He's getting so close to it this race. As Powerpuff runs very wide indeed, Leobot now retakes the provisional third, well, sorry, net third place, fourth place on the road at the moment. So it looks like anyone that Leo is fighting seems to <laughs> like being overtaken and sort of running wide and breaking late and just gifting Leo bot the positions. Yeah, Leo is a great overtaker. He's just brilliant and he's not giving up. That's uh, that's his um, strong side. He's not giving up. He really wants that position. Oh, he's run Ooh. wide onto the gravel. Sorry, Rims. And he's lost the position again. And he's not going to have some, not a lot of grip coming out of this corner as well. As you can see on his front right, it is absolutely covered in gravel. So Powerpuff and Leobot having a great battle. It looks like Tommy's is getting away a little bit in the Sauber ahead of them. So this is going to be interesting to see if Powerpuff can break away from Leo. But it looks like Leo's actually getting quite a nice slipstream coming towards the bus stop chicane. Is he going to have a look up the inside? No, he's not because we've cut away from him coming on board with John B in the Toro Rosso. Yes, we do. And he's being followed by Craggles. And... Does Craggles have a good enough run to go? I uh, don't want to go too too wide in this corner. And he's going. Wow, this is. Oh. I can't really decide to what to say. Yeah, John B. He's got grass in his front right, but he still managed to hit the apex and the bus stop chicane. So Craggles has had to stay behind him. John B. Very good defensive driving, keeping it in the middle of the track making Craggles have to do the hard work. So, oh, John B loves to lock up around this track, doesn't he? As he runs wide, gives Craggles the position, and that's going to be disappointing considering John was very good at defending in the last sector of the last lap. But he's now going to have DRS, so I think he's saving some of that curse out of Eau Rouge, is he? Let's see if he uses the rest of it. Yes, he does. What a lad. He's now going to have DRS, but is he going to get on the back of Craggles? He's closing in, he's closing in. Is he going to break it later than Craggles? Knowing John B, he probably isn't, and he's not. He's going to feed in just behind him. Yes, he does. He had the opportunity. If he had used his curse a little bit earlier, maybe he uh, would have been able to go up side by side with Craggles and had a chance, but he, did, it, he decided not to. Yeah, it's interesting, actually, because a lot of drivers... Um, like to use all of their curves out of turn one and I think that is the best idea because then obviously you get your straight line speed up a little bit more and it's practically one massive straight from the end of turn one till sort of you know all the way to turn three so I think it's turn three anyway um, where the collision on the lap one between Pelos GT and uh, Trinity Stock was and uh, we're now on board with the race leader he is on the penultimate lap and he's got a 13.1 second lead so he is just trying to keep it out of the walls as we're now back on board with Togamins who has gained a position since we last rode on board with him coming towards the bus stop chicane to start his penultimate lap yes he is and Rims is 18 seconds behind so he's lost quite a bit I don't know what happened to him but uh, he is far behind now yeah, Rims has not had a very good race indeed, but he's still got a point somehow, so I think he'll salvage that. As uh, Togami setting a 49.9, so not far off the fastest lap, I'm I'm pretty sure. Although I think, oh, I can't actually remember, was it Trinity Stock may have set the fastest lap of a 48 something? But anyway, Powerpuff in third place, that he is on the podium at the moment. And it looks like he is actually pulling away from Leo Bot at the moment, and maybe chasing down after Tommy's. Is he, he's got a 2.3 second gap, can he chase that down? It's going to be very interesting to see. It says Leobot is 0.054 behind. I'm pretty sure that is not 0.054. Rims. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure about that as well. It's It might be the lag uh, of this game, which is not not too good at times. But Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is the lag. Um, or I just have no sort of sense of gaps and distances. As Leobot on the final lap now is going to get DRS on Powerpuff. He looks quite far back indeed, so I don't think he is going to. But as I've said, I may well be really bad at judging distances, but I don't think he's going to get DRS, is he? Oh, he is! I'm talking absolute rubbish. Rims, you can talk the rest of this. But it's far too uh, long behind to uh, actually uh, overtake Powerpuff. But, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's two, well, it says two tenths. It's definitely not two tenths. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see if Leobot, who is in rich fuel mixture, so if Powerpuff is struggling for some fuel, then he's going to have Leobot all over the back of him as Leobot runs quite wide. So he hasn't been able to get on the power early enough. And it looks like Powerpuff ran very wide indeed onto the curbing there himself, but that may have even gained him time. And it looks like he's trying to catch Tommy rather than look behind him. So it's going to be interesting to see if second, third and fourth remain um, as they are, as Elite Joker looked like he had someone very close behind him. As we're now on board with Pelos GT, the final lap, he has pretty much dominated after the first few laps of sort of crashing and uh, causing people to go off the track. But uh, he has remained unscathed in terms of penalties. And he's now coming towards the bus stop chicane for the final time. And he is going to take... A very well-earned victory. He has outpaced the rest of his competitors. And he's now kind of come over the line for his victory around Spa. And Tommy's has kept second place. And he is also coming through the bus stop chicane. Powerpuff cannot do anything about it. And it looks like he's going to come home in third. And, yep, so he comes over the line. Powerpuff in third. And Leobot in fourth place. He's going to be disappointed with that. And it's going to be interesting to see if he can keep fifth place. But it doesn't look like he is. As DC Magic locks up and then hits the lead Joker. His teammate into the final corner and oh this is going to be interesting is there anyone to to actually capitalize on his mistake this craggles d in the ferrari he's gonna now go up into fifth place and dc magic has not gained any positions he's lost one and that and the williams team are not going to be very happy with that john b eighth place togami's ninth and i'm just going to run you through the results now so pelos gt takes the victory 10.9 seconds ahead of its tommy's power puff in third place from Craggles D in 4th, Elite Joker 5th, DC Magic in 6th, so it looks like, t it was, yeah, Leobot finished in ninth place after all that. That's a very, very sort of disappointing result considering he was up fighting for the lead. Uh, John B 7th, Togami's 8th, so they both per sort of gained from the penalty that Leobot received. 10th place for Rim, so he still came home with a point. Deftus Trout in 11th, so he just missed out and he actually had a penalty as well. Uh, Trincia Stock did not finish after leaving the race. Dude Where's My Jev and Wookie Pete both did not finish as well. And Disco Rob and Sam 97F1 did not start. So the fastest that went to Powerpuff as well. So um, third place for him. He's going to be happy with that, taking home a trophy. And uh, it was a pretty good race, wasn't it, Rims? Yes, it certainly was. And I'm looking forward to the next race, which is... Um, that's actually Singapore. If I'm right, that's yes, going to be interesting. Yes, Singapore, the, the very challenging track. is a street track, and it's going to be very interesting to see how these guys cope, because Spa was, is very forgiving, but Singapore is the complete opposite. The Drivers' Championship, just very quickly, Pelos GT, 164 points. So he has got, if I'm going to put my mental maths, 46 points ahead of its Tommy, so almost two victories. Powerpuff in third place, with Trincia Stock in fourth. DC Magic in fifth, so Craggles D, one point behind DC Magic. It wouldn't have been if Magic hadn't made that mistake at the end. John B in seventh, Elite Joker in eighth. So, I, I can't wait for Singapore. I'm really glad we were able to do this highlights video for F3. And just very quickly, the Constructors' Championship rims. Force India, looks like they're pretty dominant out in front. Yes, with, uh, it looks Lotus. like that. Yeah, yep. go on. Uh, and Lotus and Sauber, six points between them in second and third. So that's going to be interesting to see how that pans out for the rest of the season. I hope you guys enjoyed this spa commentary. I've been Matthew Gallagher. I'm Rims. And I hope you guys join us next time for the Singapore Grand Prix. Bye-bye.